Hey guys, Brysolve here, and welcome back to Ogre Battle, March of the Black Queen. Today, I'm going to take all of these lovely characters and units that Warren has gathered together for their last desperate push versus the Highlands and Empress Endora. And I'm going to say, Warren, thanks for all these beautiful characters for me to raise and mold and shape in an image I see fit. And now I'm going to tear the units entirely apart. Hope you don't mind, bruh. And he doesn't, because he's under my command. I'm the opinion leader. Anyhow, with that done, I'm going to take them all apart except for Lanza's unit and Warren's unit. Warren's unit I'm going to reshape and one Hellhound's going in the back row. And I will get to that in a few minutes as to why. But in the meantime, let's put a unit together. You go add character from the reserves and pick a unit that can be a leader, like, say, a wizard. And we're going to give him two fighters in the front row. And we're going to give him two Amazons in the back row. And we will cover why now. Yeah, now. There we go. That's why we put him in the back row. Two targeted magic attacks is better than a weak guy using physical hits in the front with his staff. Amazons go in the back row because it's two attacks versus one. They're not a front row character. You don't want those Amazons in there. And, of course, the fighter. The fighter's the opposite. Two attacks in the front, one in the back. That's what we're going to do. And the reason that we're going to raise fighters and Amazons, they can class up to better units. And we'll be using quite a few of them in the army so that I can raise them and shape them into characters I want to use. The next unit will be Helmed by a Cleric. And I, I had to think about it, but I thought, you know what? Let's turn this unit into a high class, high, high, high flying. Something that's going to be crazy pants. This unit is going to be used for a very specific purpose for maybe only one map before they're broken apart, but they will be awesome. And since I want them to be great, and they'll probably get broken apart, I'm going to give a lot of different types here. The Cleric gets to heal two times of battle for people in their unit. Or they can have two white attacks from the front row. Better in the back row, use the healing. Knights are just like fighters. Two attacks in the front row, one in the back row. And we are going to just have to wait and go and feel good about things like that. The Griffin gets two hits in the front, but only one in the back. But the one in the back is a hit-all attack. That's what the little asterisk means, and that's why I'm going to do it. And finally, the Beastman. You can go anywhere you want. Two hits from the front, two hits in the back. Does not make a difference. Pretty easy unit to use, that one. And then I decided to reshape it, because, hey, it looks more fun that way. Just a big flying missile. Oh, yeah, they're going to be great. Anyhow, the next unit will be helmed by a Doll Mage. Oh my, Gunther the Doll Mage. I love that name, boys. That is a good, good, good name to have. And with this unit, we are going to have to just go pretty typical. We're going to go with the two Amazons in the back, you know? And we'll probably give them the two fighters in the front. As you can see, I'm just taking the ones with the highest hit points. I don't really look at their stats otherwise. And here's why a Doll Mage is great. Two puppets, which is physical in the front, that puppet runs up, it's terrifying. But the better attack is the acid attack. It's a physical magic spell that hits everything. It's pretty great. It's a pretty great early game. Bust up the foes. This unit is going to be another specialty unit, much like the high flying unit. This one is going to put a octopus in the front row, be led by a Valkyrie, and we're going to stick a fighter there as well. So the Valkyrie is a physical attacker in the front and gets two magic spells that are targeted from the back. Much better in the back row. The octopus gets four attacks in the front row. Four. Only two in the back. Much better in the front. And those things can become beasts. Well, they are beasts. But they can become real monsters. Well, they're kind of monsters. The point is, they can kill things pretty hard. That's the point I'm trying to make. And I do enjoy a little bit of water play. That sounded wrong. The point is, the point is, we need to get on to the next unit. This one's gonna be led by a knight from the front row. Better lead from the front. Ooh, yeah. And they've got a hellhound on board. Another good front row one, like I said, but there's a back row reason as well. We will cover that once the unit is put together. And then a wizard, and then an Amazon. We're doing a bit of a mix on this one. So here, the hellhound gets three smashes in the front, but gets two target of fire spells from the back. That's why I moved one to the back with Warren. And you might be wondering, why only four in a unit? Beasts like octopus, hellhounds, griffins, etc. They take up two slots of your unit. Your unit is a max of five slots. So that's why if you have beasts, you can have less people in there. I tend to not use a lot of beasts, but for this playthrough, I'm going to try. Oh, I'm going to try. And this unit's interesting. It's got a double wizard attack going with it, and it's got a nice setup going there. And now I'm going to delete the leftovers, because I don't want them. They gross. They gross. I don't want them. 
Don't want them. Get out of here. You don't want no part of this. And eventually you have to do these things, and you'll see why, because we'll gain more and more units as we go along. And here are the items I picked up on the first map. And those were quickly the stats, so I'm going to give these to them. You equip these, and it improves the ability of your uh, characters. So we're going to, and it can also change while they're, what they attack at, the element. Those weapons have different elements, and you will soon see how that works. But for now, guys, that's all she wrote. We're going to get ready, and next time we are going to head for Sherem.